Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Unlike usual, today I will discuss about our celebrity photos that seem very interesting to talk about. I got this on Vigilant Citizen website. Please check the description to know more about the site. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the link is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Madonna hasn't released a hit song in years, but she's become a master at annoying and slightly horrifying the world with random clip. This time, she entered the NFT fad by releasing three short CGI videos. Titled Mother of Creation, the graphic videos depict a Madonna giving birth to various things. As with every single thing associated with Madonna, Mother of Creation is pure cult elite madness. The first video is titled Mother of Nature. It features Madonna laying in a cold laboratory setting as a tree slowly emerges from her. Everything about this video implies that Madonna is actually in a high-tech mind control facility. In Mother of Evolution, Madonna gives birth to monarch butterflies in a post-apocalyptic scene. Madonna says, it represents giving birth no matter what is happening in the world. Whatever. Those who recognize the symbolism, know that this represents the occult elite giving birth to monarch slaves. The third video, titled Mother of Technology, features robotic centipedes slowly crawling out of Madonna's vajayjay. Gross. The name Madonna refers to the Virgin Mary, who gave birth to Jesus. Apparently, our Madonna gives birth to anything. This year's Met Gala was less over-the-top symbolic than seen in previous years. Nevertheless, it remained true to its core purpose. To parade around pawns of the elite. And nobody personifies this better than Kim Kardashian. Kim Kardashian bleached her hair and wore the actual dress worn by Marilyn Monroe when she sang Happy Birthday to JFK, an iconic moment in American history and in MK history. At the height of her career, Marilyn got involved with the highest power figure in the world. The President of the United States, John F. Kennedy. While some historians classify their relationship as an affair, researchers in monarch mind control claim that she was actually a presidential model, the highest level of beta programming slaves, who are presidents. If true, the existence of presidential models is quite a troubling concept, one that proves the power and the importance of monarch mind control in elite circles. According to mind control researchers, Marilyn was the first high-profile presidential model, a situation that required her handlers to exercise extreme control on what she said and did in public. In this iconic moment of US history, Monroe sings to the president in a voice, while wearing a skin with nothing under it. When one knows the hidden side of history, this event was actually about a beta programming slave singing to the president she is servicing, for the whole world to see. High-level monarch slaves are often identified with gems and stones to identify their status. Presidential models are reportedly identified with diamonds. In a strange video, Kim received a lock of Monroe's actual hair, supposedly. Upon receiving it, Kardashian said, I'm going to do crazy voodoo shit and channel her. As seen in previous videos, representatives of the beta kitten industry need to channel Marilyn Monroe, the ultimate archetype of the beta slave celebrity. Speaking of which, not a typo, Kim was recently featured in an episode of Vogue's Objects of Affection. One of these objects is this drawing, made by her eight-year-old daughter, North. Kim called it goth. That's not it. Everything about this drawing reeks of MK imagery. The forehead with a gaping wound, the soulless eyes, the emphasis on one eye, the hypnotic or dissociative spiral background, and more. That is not a normal drawing for an eight-year-old. Speaking of mind control, this is Billie Eilish on the cover of V Magazine. As you can see, there's a butterfly on her mouth. The message. Silenced by the monarch system. These butterflies are not random. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. 
Thank you. As usual, the one I signed was all over the place this past month. And, as usual, it was performed by some of the world's biggest stars. Also, regional stars. Gotta cover the entire map with this crap. South Korean rapper, Zyko, makes a one-eye sign with a butterfly on his hand. The message. Blinded by the monarch system. These butterflies are not random. As seen in my previous videos about K-pop, South Korea is completely submerged in occult elite symbolism. This is singer Woo Sing doing a one-eye sign on the poster promoting his tour. South Korean actor Lee Min Ho does a one-eye sign on the cover of Days magazine. Yup, that's what you gotta do if you want to sell these Fendi purses and whatnot. Zendaya is the star of Euphoria, a teen drama that is wrong on many levels. Appropriately enough, Zendaya does the one-eye sign while promoting some type of product. Billy Jenner is also promoting some type of product by putting stuff over one eye. Look, she's using pomegranate to hide an eye. It's like, wow. Pure genius. Actress Victoria Justice became popular due to her roles in Disney and Nickelodeon shows. Now she's promoting the Netflix movie, A Perfect Pairing, by doing a one-eye sign, using, a wine glass. I mean, wow. Such creativity. I'm in awe. The promotional posters of Doctor Strange feature the main characters with one eye strategically hidden. Considering the fact that this movie is an occult extravaganza, this is appropriate. A recent cover by the elite owned The Economist features Benjamin Franklin doing the one eye sign. They love to retroactively make prominent figures from the past perform their sign of submission. Some might say, that's the Ben Franklin from the $100 bill, and he's unhappy about inflation. Yes. But it is also Ben Franklin doing the one eye sign on the cover of a major magazine that is known for its cryptic symbolism. May Musk is the mother of Elon Musk, and she's been the model for over 50 years. And boy does she love doing the one eye sign. This is a small compilation of the one eye signs made by May Musk in various magazines over the past months. This is the album cover of Daddy Yankee's new album. It's a goat head, which happens to be one of the main symbols representing Satanism. Some might say that the goat represents the acronym greatest of all time. That's what they want you to think. The sigil of the Church of Satan consists of the goat of Mendes inside an inverted pentagram. If an artist hopes to be deemed the GOAT of the industry, that artist must first submit to that goat. The elite loves Supriots. It is the ultimate status symbol. What better place to display an occult elite symbol? This yacht concept named Zion, a biblical name referring to Jerusalem and Israel, features a giant all-seeing eye. And a helicopter pad. What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.